What's up divas? It's your girl April. So this video is of course a makeup video. I have not done a makeup video in a minute. Um, let me tell y'all, this was like three takes. I had to do this over several times for this video. And a couple of products I'm just going to introduce before the video even begins. So I know the rave is for the silicone sponge. It's like everybody loves it. Maybe not everybody, but just enough people love it. And this one is not by the Molly brand, which started out. This one is by Magic Silicone Sponge, so it's quite um, inexpensive, so you can get this from samsbeauty.com. So I did attempt to use this in the video. However, my personal um, feelings on the silicone sponge are really not to be desired. Um, it just kind of like allows the makeup to sit on your face. It doesn't kind of like absorb it into your pores or your skin or whatever you want to call it so I'm not really a huge fan of it but to each his own everyone is entitled to their opinion and just at the end of the day it's all just makeup and you're always supposed to have a good time with it so if you do want to try out the silicone sponge and you like it or you already used it and you love it you can check Sam's Beauty out because their prices are really inexpensive and it's basically the same thing they kind of remind you of like little chicken cutlet type things you know um like I said it's it, everybody's preference is different they are easier to clean as you can see all I did was take a baby wipe to clean it really quick um versus the beauty blender sponge but me personally I rather prefer either the beauty blender sponge or a really good makeup brush which I like to use and you'll see me use all three of them in this video this versus the beauty blender also I did receive some makeup from Kiss Cosmetics, which is a really affordable, inexpensive brand. Um, along with the makeup, they did send me this cute little mirror. It's really cute. So I did use it somewhat. Not like it's easy for me not to hold the mirror and do my makeup, but they did send me their Kiss Professional New York Goddess eyeshadow palette. This is neutral colors. Unfortunately, when I got it, it was broken, so one of the shadows was like a bronzy color, kind of rustic color bronze, and it was broken. No big deal. I have this in my other palettes, but to me, honestly, in my opinion, some of the colors were kind of patchy, not really pigmented like I like, so I went ahead and instead I improvised with my favorite Morphe palette which I love which is the 335 OM and you know you will see me use that in this video as well along with some other products so yes you guys also, I did get some new products from Amazing um, Amazing Cosmetics, which you can pick up at Sephora. I do think this is available at Ulta 2. I'm not really sure, but yes, Amazing Cosmetics did send me some concealers. And one of my new favorite facial primers, which is their um, anti-aging facial primer. I absolutely love this stuff. I love any kind of facial primer that's more or less kind of like the jelly, kind of like silicone base. I did try out and I did purchase the Becca um, mattifying primer. Let me tell you guys, I had to remove my foundation like six times with this stuff right here. It's really not that great for me. I have oily skin, but it kind of like dries up really fast. I tried every different type of amount, every type of way, and I will be returning this to Sephora. So, I do have a new favorite, which is this one, and this one seems to work really well for my skin, which is the Amazing Cosmetics, so yes, you guys. And also, check the mailbox, and there was a new product from Scandinavia. This is their post makeup um, recovery spray, so you'll spray this on your face before you prime it. Really works good. Um, I do like it. I use this as well in the video. But yeah, yeah, all of the stuff that I've used in this video will be posted for you guys below. So some things are really drugstore, some things may not be. But either way, it's up to you guys' discretion to use makeup as you prefer. It's all about having fun. And of course, you guys, the hair is still from youmayhair.com. I love this lace front, and I'm going to continue to wear it. Also, in case you guys are wondering about the band-aid so I did go today to get another treatment for my keloid so I had to get a band-aid because it was hurting and I didn't want it pressing against my clothes plus or just it just bleeds a little bit so yeah that's the reason for the band-aid so yes Enjoy all right it. ladies so the first thing I'm starting off with is the Scandinavia post prime makeup stuff and I'm also gonna be using one of my favorite new facial primers which is by amazing cosmetics so this is the anti-aging facial primer and I'm also going to be using their hydrate concealer which is in the color tan golden 
Um, yes, this I'm just going to put on my entire eye. It's going to make my eyebrows look nice and new. Now, mind you, um, my hairs and my eyebrows have grown out a lot, so I'm trying to really cover them up. I'm trying to let them grow back in so that I don't have to tweeze them as much. I haven't let my eyebrows grow in in like, gosh, probably like... I want to say like 20 years I have been plucking my eyebrows, tweezing them, so I've been using this stuff and it kind of helps. So now I'm going to be using the Amazing Cosmetics Amazing Concealer and this is in the color of medium tan. And I'm just going to use this to even out the entire eyelid and to set it I'm going to be using my Milani Multitask Press Powder in the color dark tan. I love the Milani Press Powder. I use it all the time. I have another color. This here is by Iman and this is their clay press powder and it's in the color clay one. It really didn't work out too well for my skin tone so I used it for my eyelids as a transition color. And I'm going to go into this Kiss New York Professional Eyeshadow Palette in the color Goddess. So the colors are neutral, they're really not that pigmented so I'm not like a huge fan of them. But I do love this cute little mirror right here. So I'm going to use the palette somewhat. Um, like I said, it's really not that pigmented and it's not really to my expectations, unfortunately. So I'm just going to use some of the eyeshadow out of it and you'll see me in the video as I go along. The color that I'm using now was not as pigmented as I would have liked it. So I'm going to go into my Morphe 350M palette, which I love. This is the matte eyeshadow palette and I use this every single day, like literally every day. This is like my holy grail eyeshadow palette ever. I'm just going to highlight underneath my brows and I'm just going to go into the palette. This is like the perfect transition color that I'm using. I think like every color in this palette is perfect for transition. Like this palette is great for like every single skin tone. Like by far it's an amazing eyeshadow palette. I love neutral colors. I love matte colors. Not so much shimmery but I love me some matte and neutral colors. I am like a neutral type of girl for real. And the color that I'm using again is also from that same palette and it's more or less kind of like a rustic kind of burnt orange. It's so pretty. It's like I said a very pretty color especially for transitions colors and all skin tones. And the brush that I'm using is also from Morphe. I'm going to take some other colors that's in that palette and I'm just going to kind of like clear up the color from the kiss. Kind of like, I guess you want to say override that color. But just go along with me. I'm just going to try to make it fun. I love neutral colors, so yes. If you don't have this palette, I highly suggest getting it. And this color like that burnt orange was so pretty. Now I'm going to take this pale color from the Kiss palette. And it's more or less like a really, really pale, pale, pale pink. And I'm just going to dust that over the entire lower lid. And I'm going to go over that with that shimmery like pale pink in the palette as well. And to me, the colors are kind of a little bit chalky. They wear off really easy. So I'm going to go and I'm going to use some of that brown in the Kiss eyeshadow palette. And like I was saying, it's not as pink pigmented as I would like it to be so I'm going to get a bigger a, a more denser brush and I'm going to go into my Morphe 350M palette which I think is like a trusty go-to palette for real. I want to take like a medium color brown I'm going to go in my crease with that kind of like you know diffuse that burnt orangish red color a little bit you know kind of like dull it not really dull it down but just kind of like diffuse it. I didn't want it too bright. And I'm going to go into a pale pink in that Morphe palette and go over top that Kiss shadow. I'm just going to clean up my brows a little bit. The pencil that I'm using, I think that's an Ofer pencil. And I'm going to line my lids with the Benefit Their Real um, Push Up Eyeliner. This eyeliner is really easy for those who are kind of like eyeliner challenge like myself because you guys know I have hooded lids so sometimes it gets a little tricky for me to do my 
eyeliner so or my wings so I kind of use certain eyeliners I love this one here which is the Milani stay put matte eyeliner in the color black I love the bristle or the brush or the sponge dough foil whatever you want to call it. the applicator of the Milani is amazing and this mascara which is a by essence is kind of like $2.99 at Ulta it's great so I got me a sample proof of the Becca cosmetics um, ever matte foundation and I'm gonna be using the silk sponge with it now I normally use their bamboo um, this is the bamboo color but I use the full coverage one so I'm gonna use this one here with the silicone sponge now honestly it's not really to my liking it kind of started looking patchy to me it really couldn't get in certain areas or rub certain areas like I would have liked and as you can see it kind of like dried up and didn't kind of evenly distribute the foundation so I had to go back in with it and use my flat buffer brush just to kind of correct the problem instead of me removing the foundation I tried this like quite a few times the other day with that same silicone sponge and I will be honest to tell you not a fan so I'm going to be going in with my Jordana uh, maximum coverage two-in-one foundation and concealer this is by Milani brand this is a really inexpensive brand you can get this from the drugstore now it does say maximum coverage two-in-one makeup um, for concealer and foundation the color I have on is golden olive and it really works well with my skin um, it's not really maximum coverage because maximum coverage is full coverage to me and that's more or less like my Becca foundation that I normally use on a daily basis that one kind of really hides my freckles though I'm not trying to hide my freckles I don't want to so I don't really like to use that foundation too much I'm going to also use some Mary Kay foundation which is matte in color beige 4 and along with that I'm going to be using the same foundation by Georgiana which is your 2-in-1 maximum coverage foundation and concealer and that is in the color um, golden beige and I'm going to do my contouring with the one and only pro contour pro concealer by LA girl in the color chestnut so while that highlight underneath my eye kind of like soaks into my skin I'm gonna go ahead and contour my face and I will then rub, go ahead and rub that highlight in oh my god ladies I'm so tired right now I sat here I had to like really configure my computer to edit this video so I'm like super duper tired while editing editing this so yes you guys I really am trying to get this up as you can see I love this beauty blender sponge which is by real techniques it's like my holy grail I absolutely will highly suggest using it and one of those fake artiste brushes which I love as well get you the fake ones they were just as good Now to give me a little bit more contour, I'm going in to my Too Faced um, Dark Chocolate Soleil and this is in the color Dark Matte Bronzer and to set my highlight, I'm going to be using just some pressed powder by NYX which is the color Soft Beige and I'm going to kind of like highlight my inner tear ducts with the Kiss um, Eyeshadow Palette which I do like that color that I used for inner tear duct as a highlight too, like you can highlight with any eyeshadow, okay? Just highlight, highlight, highlight. Now to set my face, I'm going to be using my Milani pressed powder in dark tan. And I'm going to go on ahead and use this Ophroderma mineral powder in pink sapphire. I've had this for a minute. It's a loose powder and whoosh! you will be highlighted okay I didn't really know what this was for so I kinda like put it aside like over a year ago and then decided to take it back out it's a really pretty highlight but on top of it I'm going to be going into my Daisy Danger highlight palette by Morphe and I'm gonna be using one of the colors there I love this palette because you get nine different colors and it's like 22 bucks something like that really pigmented colors really worth it I love Morphe like they got the bombest freaking eyeshadows and products like for real I didn't want to be too highlighted so I had to kind of like diffuse some of it you know what I'm saying like we want to tone it down a bit I'm just going to bring out my cheekbones a little bit more yes bronze it up baby bronze it up and you guys know I love like a nice kind of nude lip so anything matte is good I love nude I don't like too much and for the eye look I thought it went well 
know what I'm saying? Yes. Set that makeup, girl, and pull down that hair. And yes, hunties, yes, I'm almost ready. But before I get done, of course I had to have one of my favorite little people in the whole wide world, which is my grandson who is two years old. We call him Tinky, and look at him. Everyone says he's my twin, and I think so too. He's my buddy for life, though, as I'm a little sweetheart. We always hang out together, so yes. So, Tinky Man, say cheese for the camera, for your grandma. Look at us. Aren't we like the cutest things ever? Yes. <laughs> that is my buddy, guys. Yes, my sweetheart. That makes the whole video so much more worth it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yes, yeah, something easy and fun. You know I love my neutrals. And on that note, I will see you in a soon to come video. Stay diva and divalicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.